continuing to build what you have while also integrating some of those new pieces in? Yeah, it's every year, you know, like uh, we have to integrate Chet case and walls last season um and you know the nba is always fluid so we're adding new players every season uh so it's a process we've been through i think uh it's not skipping steps uh with the team or with new players um building a strong foundation of uh the identity we want to have as a team the habits we want to build uh and fortunately one thing sam's done a great job of is bringing in guys that kind of naturally gravitate uh to the the principles that we have in the organization and uh, we've done that again with uh, Alex and Isaiah, and also the guys we picked. We're looking for more of a uh, Nebraska into born in the USA uh, type of transition here, and less <laughs> of a, a tunnel of love into human touch. Uh, you I mean, know, going from year to year. I mean, you look at uh, when you're alone, great deep cutoff tunnel of love, human touch. I was a big fan of like roll of the dice. I mean, so there's some gems. That, I mean. I'm never going to allow you to get away with when <laughs> <laughs> you knew it was coming. Disparaging yeah, 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 human yeah. touch. Um, yeah. it, we know from uh, some clips that we've seen that you're a prolific golfer. <laughs> here we okay. go. This uh, is why I like coming on here. When, <laughs> when a lot of times when we talk to either coaches or players, it's like, what do you want from a golfer? Is it repetition or improvisation? Yeah. You know, the, the ability to replicate your swing yeah. or the ability to improvise when you're on an unusual situation. What do you want out of a player more? Do you want the ability to be able to do something that is repeatable yeah. or somebody that recognizes a situation instantly and instinctually knows what to do? Well, they're, they're interconnected. Um, and so the guys that, uh, would be seen as, uh, improvisational, what, when you look underneath the hood, there is the consistency and okay. the consistent foundation. So if I had to choose one, that's what I would choose because, uh, even the guys that are the most incredible players that make the plays that you just, that wow you, um, there's usually a, a layer there of really fundamental, stable, steady income, you know, that they're getting, uh, that then they build their creativity on. And so uh, it all starts on that foundational level. It's something we really emphasize. It's something, you know, to relate it to our team that I think Chet did a great job of last year because he's obviously a very dynamic player. Uh, but he did a hell of a job in his rookie year of just laying down a very strong foundation for his game. It allowed him to be very efficient. It allowed our team to be successful. And it's now something that he can build on as he moves forward in his career. Uh, when we talk about lineups, especially with these two new additions, Alex and Isaiah, is that something... I know you've been thinking about it. How much of that is what you have planned out before versus what happens organically? Organically, way more. You know, it, I think I told the group earlier, uh, I understand the questions about that and respect them, but the ball hasn't bounced yet. You know, we haven't seen this team at this time uh, in training camp. And, you know, we go out there tomorrow. I, I make three even teams, and that's how we start training camp every single season uh, to create a spirit of competition and create a spirit of uh, openness and allowing the guys to show – uh, where they're at. And then we allow it to evolve from there and we kind of dance with the season. So um, you can only prepare for so much in the NBA. And uh, like I said, we try to stay very open-minded. What do you think the team learned in that Dallas series? Uh, I mean, the playoffs is the most relevant um, context to learn because it's um, everybody's burning the boats to try to win. Um, and so you learn a ton, you know, you gain a lot of wisdom, you gain a lot of confidence, you figure out uh, what works and you figure out uh, what needs to be improved on an individual level, on a team level, from a coaching standpoint. Uh, and there's plenty, you know, we lost a series, but there's plenty that worked and there's plenty that can carry over. And then there's plenty we can improve on. Uh, and that's the benefit of growing through all the experiences you get. So uh, I think we gained a lot from it and, you know, we have to obviously apply it forward. Absolutely. Uh, and then with the young players, bringing in young guys and it's kind of another lineups question here. How, find a way to phrase this how transparent are you in terms of expectations or, or setting these guys up and knowing what they're going to play game to game or is that what is that conversation like well i mean in this in the course of the season yeah, over the course of the regular season yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. i mean I, I i never try to position a guy uh, to be unsuccessful you know so i'm not trying to like trick anybody sure um i'm very transparent about uh, where I see players uh, relative to their role, where I think they need to improve strengths they bring to the team. Um, you know, I, I think uh, that only positions them for success. But at the same time, I try to dance with the game. And when the game uh, presents an opportunity to introduce a player or a player's strengths, I'm willing to do it. And so I'm very transparent. But at the same time, I always tell them to stay ready 
Uh, and I try to follow through on that, you know, by giving guys opportunities when opportunities present themselves. Mark Rogers back in the studio. Mark, you got a question for Coach Stegnall here. Uh, yeah, how do you keep this up? I mean, every year it is just off the charts improvement uh, with everything that goes on with the, with the team in terms of the expectations. I think you guys beat the win total last year by 13 or something like that. Uh, and then how much more of that improvement comes from your stars who are still young uh, and still are, are getting better? Well, the first thing is not, you know, what you're describing, you know, those outcomes, which we're proud of and, you know, certainly happy we, we got them, but uh, not chasing them, you know, and, and really just doubling down on uh, underneath the hood, you know, the foundation and, and the process and the day to day commitment to our professionalism and attacking the program, competing together in every single game and, and not really looking up, you know, keeping our head down on that. Uh, and that's that is across the roster you mentioned uh, or you referenced certain guys, you know, they need to continue guys that have played a lot and accomplished a lot. They need to continue to improve and invest in that process uh, so that the foundation doesn't erode uh, and everybody on the roster needs to invest in that process. And if we do that, then we know that we'll have maxed out whatever our team is capable of. I think that's what we've done not only the last couple of years, but the first couple of years. And um, if we want to continue to progress and grow, that's what we have to continue to do. Coach, appreciate you stopping by. Good yeah. luck this year. Good to see you. Absolutely. Thanks. Good to see you too. Thanks for having Mark me. Mark Tegnell.